on this episode of Carnage, it's time to put our budget bangers to the test. This is the 2K Challenge. The idea behind the 2K Challenge is cheap cars with a $2,000 budget. On this side, we've got a nitrous V8. On this side, a turbo six. And now, we're gonna head to the dyno for the very first challenge. We are here at Max Performance for the first of our dyno runs. The idea is that we do three runs each and see how it all pans out. Kian, it feels like we were just here because we were just here, only about five hours ago, doing the run-in tunes. So we have changed basically nothing. We hacked up the bonnet to upset all the purists, front bars back on, and that's about it. We'll see what kind of numbers we can lay down. That's right. We haven't told the other boys what sort of power we're making, but we have a fair idea of what it will make today. So, let the challenge begin. It is what it is. <laughs> Sounds amazing. Wow. I think we got a bit of wheel slip there, so he's just uh, tightening it down. It's a good start. Pop the strap, strap off the camera. Yeah, is that what it's... Uh, you felt it? Yeah, I saw it. <laughs> yeah. The grab. Okay. I got nothing. <laughs> it actually... It actually goes alright. I really don't like the exhaust, but it actually sounds pretty good. It seems like it's moving around a lot. Yeah. Should we turn it down? So I'm thinking, I wonder if it made better. Like it makes more. Alright, I'll turn it down. I went clockwise, four flicks, go back three. Alright. Yeah. We're actually going to turn it down. Actually, turned it down. Yep. It actually went higher, but well, that's the number. Three runs. That's it. That's all it's going to give us. All right. So there we have it, our baseline figure and our maximum power figure. Now we were hoping for a little bit more, we are hoping for closer to 350 rear wheel kilowatt like we saw in our tuning, but that's all it wants to give us tonight. So we'll see if that's enough to hold off the Commodore. We're here at Max Performance. We've uh, got the Commodore on the dyno. We've come from MPW where we made some big power. 325. 325. 175 shot of gas up its bum. Uh, yeah, so now Zane's gonna rev it up and see how it goes. So what's the safe word? Mine's pineapple. Mine's keep going. <laughs> so let's just make it happen. If it blows up, it blows up. I mean, it is what it is. It's still it. not an AU. It's no AU Ford. Have you seen their Ford? <laughs> My God. It's so pretty. All right, game on. Let's make this happen. Zane, let's rev it. Let the fun begin.
Yeah, but one was natural. One was natural. Nothing worse than losing. I've been a loser all my life. For once, I want to win. So, Bubba, we were hoping to see a little bit more power out of you guys than that. We heard it made over 300. It's made 325. Wow, that would have been actually really close. But I have to say why. Every, everything has an excuse. No nitrous. We forgot to fill the nitrous bottle I up. did ask you if you'd checked. And that's what makes it worse. So no nitrous, like it, it had a little bit. The pressure was down to 650 and that's what we got. You've taken the win. We have. <laughs> Mate, well done. All Thank right, you. so that's two points for us for the maximum power. And uh, also, we also score another two points for the gain because we gained 190 kilowatts gosh. or 191, I think it is. And you scored 140, so we were up 50 kilowatts on the gain. So. Just imagine if that bottle was full. Anyway. Let's take it to the track, see what we can do in the drag strip. I think it's going to be real tough because with the auto and the converter, those guys are going to be tough to beat. Let's go to the drag strip. <laughs> Perfection. Well, here we are guys, Heathcote Park Raceway. We're gonna race our $2,000 Falcon up against our $2,000 Commodore. No arguments, 2K challenge, that's what it is. Will it be the Falcon with its turbo and E85, or will it be the Commodore with heads, cam, gears, converter, nitrous, all that sort of gear? It's gonna be actually pretty close because the cars make similar power on the dyno. I'm actually a little bit nervous because this thing should really hook up off the line where we may get the top end. We'll see what happens, but it's time to race. So we're down here at Heathcote with the VT racing the AU. I'm not gonna lie, a little bit nervous because uh, we don't usually play with nitrous. We're not nitrous people. So <laughs> we're gonna activate the nitrous pretty much straight off, so I've been told, but we've already got issues. The alternator shit itself by the looks of it, so we've got low voltage. Uh, I haven't raced for a little while, especially in a VT with this much power, because VTs don't come out of this kind of power. So yeah, a few issues, we'll sort it out, and today's all about actually getting down the track, beating the AU. If the AU beats us, down the back of the track, we beat up Scotty. That's the aim. So game on today, guys, bring it on. So we're getting ready to make our uh, shakedown run. 350 kilowatts at the tyres, a very sensitive, uh, fragile gearbox that we're just gonna have to baby through the day and hopefully make it all the way through the day. So uh, they tell us third gear's the uh, most fragile of them. So I'm even considering going first, second, fourth. We'll see how it goes. I might do that in our shakedown run just to see what happens. Okay, so we're about to make our first shakedown pass with the AU. I got butterflies like elephants, I tell you. Oh, it's gonna be interesting, very interesting. See how this goes. I reckon Bubba's just as nervous over on his side. Well, moment of truth. And here at Heathcote, first pass of the day.
haven't heard it. Still got oil pressure. And we beat Scotty. And we train him. So, transmission by the sounds of it uh, had a little bit of a spill. So we'll take it back to the pits, have a bit of a look, see what the story is. There is nothing worse than hauling down a track because it just wrecks it for everyone and that's not cool. So I really hope that hasn't happened because that's not cool. News is pretty good for Bubba. 12 1, 117, well almost 118 mile an hour. I pretty much stalled it on the line and 3.6 seconds 60 foot of time, which is crap. 14.4 at 120 mile an hour. So 120 mile an hour is really good. Nitrous is all new to me, so it's I'm a turbo man, but definitely wow. So didn't stall it up, took off. Hit the notch just a little bit late, but still ran 12.1, 117. Plastic power. Plastic power, go the Holden team. And there's more to come. All right, this is the first of our competition runs. So we've just done our first, well, I guess we'll call it the first competition run, but how do we do that? Because Bubba got pushed back out of the uh, the burnout box. Uh, well, he did his burnout, leaked a heap of trans fluid, and uh, so I had to do a solo pass. Do I call that a win? I don't know, we didn't really make any rules for that. But I did do a 13.0, which is okay, it's not a, I want to do faster, 13.0, at 121 mile an hour. So this thing has got some grunt. Yep. Went to do our second pass and there it was just a big fat fail. Uh, the first pass we did, there was transmission coming out the breather because, well, we had to figure it out and it turns out we did overfill it. So, tried to do a second pass and no go. Straight in the burnout, just pissed out fluid everywhere. So, Kane got straight on it. We've dumped probably a good two litres of oil out of this thing because it wasn't breathing. So, every time we'd check it, it's like, oh, it's right, but it wasn't. It was over full. We have run into a little bit of an issue, and that is the qualifying's over and we're into eliminations now. And that means that uh, there's a good chance that either of us could be knocked out first round and we haven't done the amount of runs that we wanted to do. But I reckon it's pretty much a foregone conclusion that these boys are gonna win the drag component of this challenge because uh, yeah, they're knocking on the doors of 11s and we still haven't run a 12 yet. The mile an hour's there, but we just need to get off the line. So we're into bracket racing now. I'm dialed in at 12.6 against a hot rod run of 9.90.
our day is done. Unfortunately, after the, uh, the Commodore oiled down the, the start line before, it's obviously uh, created some issues with the track and so now the track won't let the car run. Now the boys have fixed the problem, the car no longer leaks, but they're just not happy and uh, they're not going to let Bubba run. It's a real bummer, we were hoping to get all this done today, but unfortunately it is what it is and uh, we got a couple passes, we got a few passes with the AU, but they only got one with the VTs. But I'm pretty confident the Commodore has the Falcon's measure. Anyway, we're gonna pack up while it's still light and come back, maybe not here, but to another track another day. Here we are, Quarter Park Raceway, you know this feel, Ford versus Holden, six versus eight, manual versus auto, we're gonna get this thing done today. Well, at least the drag portion of it. So, after the shenanigans of Heathcote the other day, we've decided to come back to Calder Park Raceway one week later and get this done. So this is how it's gonna go. We're gonna do four paired passes, which means each team member will get two runs each. And we're gonna take those four runs, drop the worst, and make it an average of three runs. So there'll be points for the quickest average over those three runs, and then there'll be points for the quickest or best improvement from stock to today. So boys in the hold could tie this up, or if we grab a couple points here, we should snatch victory. We've gotta find out, let's go line them up. First pass, yeah, what's gonna happen? Who knows? It's even gonna go extremely okay or extremely terrible. So I've got an idea of how to launch this now, but I still, still don't think I'm gonna get Bubba. I mean, that thing is seriously fast. This is fast, but it's more top end. Where the Commodore, it's all down low and that's where your time is. How do I feel about this? Nah. It's a VT Commodore of a 5 litre. What's the worst thing that could happen? Game on! I missed me second or third shift. Alrighty, so we've done the first of our four passes and neither of us are particularly happy with that. I missed the gear, 
you missed everything. Pretty much, at least you finished the pass. Yeah. Uh, took off, at wheel spun, hit rev limiter, blew the nitrous. Uh, real amateur move on my end, but I still had a lot of fun. So. so I was wondering where you went, so nitrous backfire, was it? Yep, hit limiter, backfired, caught fire, boarded the run. So well, let's head around, put these boys in the car and see what they can do. Hopefully they do better than me. <laughs> Could be hard. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but it's every time when Kane goes to have a drive, I break something on him. Single spinner for days. Show us. I thought I did something ridiculously bad because I missed third really badly. I basically went first, second, nowhere. And then I tried to get third again, didn't want to know about it, so I put it in fourth and just matted it. And then I got handed the time slip of a 13.00. So this is, in theory, a 12 second car if it lives, which is awesome. So I'm actually stoked given the massive cock up I made before. Um, my only reservation is now there's a fair bit of noise coming from the bell housing gearbox area. So I don't know how many runs this car's got left in it before we um, have to go hunting on gum tree for a new gearbox, but anyway. We've broken the drive shaft, so we thought we'd better get stuck into putting more nitrous in the car. So we're putting more nitrous in the car. 200, 210, while we wait for a drive shaft, game on. Does not sound good. That does not sound good at all. Yeah. You reckon? All right, can you start it up, Ken? Yeah, but it'd be breathing, it'd be breathing. Nah, not if it knocks the skirt off it. The ring land and everything's still there, but the bottom crack. Then the piston does that, no one can pick the noise. Yeah, yeah. It sounds like we've actually maybe broken the engine. Um, something sounds suspiciously loud towards the back of the motor. Thought it was maybe the gearbox at first, but uh, it's making noise all the time. So, and it does sound doesn't sound far enough back to be gearbox, it sounds like engine. But it's not fuming or anything, that's the crazy thing. So it still runs and drives and does all that, so I figure we'll just load it up and take it back to the workshop. I guess we'll uh, have to try something else. Oh well, we'll throw another bullet in it and send it again another day. Yeah, wow, that's carnage. Oh well, the boys are in a better state than we are. We've probably got a hurt engine. They do throw axle in it, more nitrous, go 11s. I reckon they take the win for the drags, but uh, let's see this thing run some numbers.
another drive car. Yeah, it's a bit of cage. CV join again. Axel. Well, we broke two drive shafts today. We've broke one, replaced that, and now we've broken the other one. And I don't think I even got to hit the gas. This drag racing shit's gay. Better hit it than me. <laughs> Lined up for my first pass, was pretty nervous. Um, even, even forgot how to do a burnout. Had to ask Bubba. Um, staged up, left, and I don't, couldn't tell you if I hit the nitrous, but I think as I got second, it broke the drive shaft, and I was heaps of relief. I was like, thank God that's over, and I reversed out, and we broke another drive shaft. So, still have not done a pass, Bubba. Cheers, mate. <laughs> so, Bubba, that was pretty much the worst day of the drag strip ever. Mm, for you, maybe. Mm. Yeah, maybe not for you. You've had some bad ones. Yeah, I've had some bad ones. Today wasn't too bad. We broke two lots of drive shafts. I broke a set and so did Kane. So we, it's a team effort. What did you break? Uh, I didn't break anything. I think Kian may have broke the engine. Ah. But uh, hey, look, we both had a crack. We both missed third gear. We both ran 13. So the car's not as quick as your Commodore. We're just going to have to admit that. I'll, I admit defeat. I yep. mean, Yep, yep, but the haters on uh, YouTube, you know, auto versus manual and all that stuff, but yeah. a win's a win, and we'll take it. Yeah, so we won the dyno, you've won the drags, Yep. so four points each. We're going to have to decide this at the hill climb, but first, we need to both fix our cars, <laughs> and you'll see that in a future episode of Carnage. Beat this AU, and then we're gonna get pizza. For all you haters out there, yes, we eat too much. <laughs> <laughs>